Hey everybody, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where I'm broadcasting to you guys from Oaxaca, Hualtuco, Mexico. Uh, and uh, I'm continuing my Dimashathon. Uh, next step is Ika Na Ide, Ika Na Ide, uh, which means don't go. And I wanna just dive right into it. So let's do this, and uh, here's Dimash, or Dismash. He's gonna smash this one in a different kind of way. Let's check it out, here we go. Before he even starts, you're gonna say, Ken, he didn't even get a word out of his mouth and you have to comment. Yes, I do. Because <laughs> that's what I do, I comment. Um, is that natural instruments, guys, beautiful, natural, real, non-sampled, orchestral, organic, beautiful instruments. It is the polar opposite of my rant on Spotify's top 2021, right? This is music, it's living, it's breathing, and it's gonna give him the ability to step into something passionate, organic, you know, emotional, and we're about to hear that now, but I wanted to comment this, the setup to this, rather than um, music that's not organic, it can't, it can't have the same setup, it just can't, so. <sighs> sensitive moment and I it's hard to find a place to stop on this song because the whole song is so sensitive a few little points along the way is you may or may not know that the song is called don't go you can eat um, but the way he's singing it and his emotive passion and sorrow and lament and pain and and, and just anguish in it you get the sense, much like in the Italian opera, that you don't even need to know the lyric as much as knowing that he's begging someone not to do something, okay? And so you get this emotive thing as you're, as you're listening to it without even knowing the lyric. And uh, that is true artistry. Now, I wanna comment on one other thing. I don't know when I'm gonna release all of these videos, but I do know that I just now came off of doing Stranger, um, his song Stranger, and what's interesting about that is even though it starts soft like this, it's got some epic giant buildup to it. Um, the sign of a true artist is one that is very, I think, I mean, there's different forms of artistry, of course, but um, the, the more expansive artists are ones that can emote uh, a grand epic sort of thing like he did in Stranger, but can turn right around and be so sensitive on Ike Nai Day, where he doesn't need to scream at you to get you on your feet to start clapping. He can actually make you internalize this in yourself and be re in introspective um, as you're moving through the song. So that's really, really interesting that he's got the whole gamut. He's got the big, belty, powerful range, this and that, which everyone always says, oh, the guy only knows how to belt. No, he doesn't. That's crap, Just shut up, you're full of it. This kid is freaking awesome and everything he touches turns to gold and right now he's displaying the sensitive side of his abilities and not just the belting technical side, so. But this 
solo es... Forte de piano, again, we've talked about this before, crescendo, diminuendo, coming back. It is so hard to do that and do it with the pitch and perfection and the shape of the vowel staying the same. Let's listen to that one more time. Sorry to interrupt, but pointing out just some minor technical things along the way. <laughs> Not plagiaristically, but just kind of a little bit of it. Um, but I want to uh, point out, he goes in and out of using uh, his operatic vowel. So, hello! Right? He does that, and then he goes, la! He'll come back, and he'll kind of play with, um, you know, kind of staying real classic and true bel canto, and then he'll come back with more of a pop thing. So I think that's really interesting because um, most most opera singers don't have the ability, or maybe I don't know how to say don't, but haven't t spent the time to really uh, learn about how pop vowels can be shaped. And so he's actually crossing over into the pop world and the opera world and the pop world. He's going back and forth. That's not easy to do because a lot of times most people that are steeped in opera or have, um, you know, sort of marbleized or codified their, their, their technique in opera, they really can't step out of that covered sound, that really dark covered sound. <laughs> kind of sound. So he's, he's going back and forth and he's toggling between the two. I think that's really awesome. So Andrea Bocelli does that too. Most people don't think of Andrea Bocelli as like a true opera singer in that sense. He's more like popera, <laughs> pop opera. Um, so I think that's interesting, but um, this guy's got amazing abilities to, to uh, toggle and juggle in between the two. So here we go. <laughs> something else and people are saying, Ken, you're destroying the song. No, I'm not. I'm actually, I'm trying to amplify some things and, and unpack some things you guys may not have noticed. So when people learn bel canto, appoggio or, or operatic classical style of singing, in, within melisma or any of their vocal runs and stuff, they never really learn that. They learn scales that are very stair steps. So, la You know, they learn, that's sort of their approach to learning it. And, and, and most vocal instructors want the notes themselves to be exactly spot on. So if I go, right? 
So as they learn this technique, they never really learn melisma or the ability to swag in between vowels because all of the vowels are expected of them to have a particular placement and to be spot on. That's why whenever you hear an opera singer try to sing a blues lick, if they're gonna sing a lick and they go to sing a blues lick, they'll sing, you know, let's say the lick is Let's say that's the lick, okay? So a blues guy walks in and he goes, yeah. And that's the lick. An opera singer would go, because they are real stiff on it. They can't move around in the swag or the bending of the notes to a minor third or, or whatever. What's fascinating about um, Dimash is, I'm gonna back this up, when you hear him in his melisma, he doesn't do that. He sings it like a blues guy, or he sings it like a pop singer. So somehow he's integrated within his bel canto background, the swag of stretching a minor third. Hey, hey, right? So he's learning the melisma in sort of a pop R&B context, um, as opposed to learning it as an opera guy. Now, I'll bet he had to learn the, the stiff opera, you know, stair step sort of uh, vowels first, and then migrated from that on into what we see here. Check it out. An opera go, hey, he's, hey, right? He's got the swag of that, some blue swag, which is really unusual for an opera singer. You know, on the coloratura range, comes back down, all the way back down in the tenor range. I mean, he's four voices in one. The guy's just, he's an alien from another planet. I keep saying that, but he really is. This is amazing. Muy bien, I'm in Mexico, so I gotta say muy bien. <laughs> wow, the guy's channeling like five different people throughout history, it's really funny. Um, just an absolute force, what an amazingly talented guy. I noticed he had, I saw a marshal in the back and an orange crate amp and some other stuff. I'd like to hear some of that actually come in. You know! personal preference. Anyway, hopefully you guys will stick around for my next video. Thank you for joining me for my Dimashathon. I'm having an amazingly 
It's educational for me too, because listen to this guy, I'm like, wow, you know, I teach, I teach this compartmentally, you know, if I've got a soprano, I'll teach the soprano, or, you know, if we're doing a color tour, I'll teach color tour, I've got a barrier, a tenor, whatever, I'll teach these compartmentally, but it's really tough to put these all together. I do some of this myself, as you know, I'm nowhere, I have nowhere near the super high range, I think I have lower, better lower range and, and a, a beefier mid voice in him, I can distort my voice where he can't in the same way, uh, but this brother is just three thumbs, four thumbs way up, if I had six thumbs, I'd be, that might hurt, <laughs> anyway, shh. Uh, six thumbs way up. Ken Temple Vogel Academy, getting myself in trouble. Stick around till my next video. Next time, peace out.